Four years ago, a local woman was killed in a motorcycle crash. Tonight, Harley Davidson is being held accountable. A jury in Livingston County decided Harley Davidson has to pay $240 million in punitive damages. Harold Morris of Caledonia sued the company for negligence for the defective bike. His longtime partner, Pamela Sinclair, died in the crash. News to NBC's Tom Kowalski spoke with those left behind and their attorney outside the courthouse in Geneseo. Today they got small town justice in a big time way. In June of 2020, Harold Morris and his girlfriend Pamela Sinclair were riding a 2019 Harley Davidson trike when the bike crashed in Pennsylvania, killing Sinclair. Morris claims the bike was defective. Now, a Livingston County jury has found the company guilty of negligence and deception. The aggregate verdict was $287 million in total uh, with a punitive damages award of $240 million. It, it's that, that punitive damages number that we really wanted to get out there, uh, that we really want people to know. According to attorney Paul Edelstein, that $240 million is essentially a fine Harley-Davidson will now pay for its negligence. We really wanted that number to send a message out to not just Harley-Davidson, but to every, any other company uh, that this is unacceptable. And that message is, was sent, and it was sent from beautiful Livingston County, where these big corporations think they could fly in and get over on these people. And that is not what happened. I, I don't think the compensation is a pleasure. The pleasure is getting the word out there, and let the world know they screwed up. Interesting verdict. I mean, extraordinary verdict. The huge component of this is punitive damages, which are designed to punish. Obviously, they brought this case because there was some defect with this particular I don't know, I guess you'd call it motorcycle, the trike, which I've always thought these are kind of inherently dangerous all by themselves. Just the design of a three-wheeled vehicle is a bad idea um, and frankly more dangerous than a regular motorcycle. However, I don't know what the, what the details of the claim were, but that's the sort of like the beginning of the whole claim. Harley Davidson must have either known and hid that fact, produced these things knowing full well that it was going to cause some you know potentially catastrophic injuries or death and that kind of thing but i can tell you that i am absolutely certain that how harley davidson handled it and the the design and this lawsuit is why they got punished to the tune of 240 million dollars as punishment for their behavior um that's corporate greed right there that wasn't for their particular injuries that's looking at punishment as a percentage of what you know your company is worth so that you'll stop doing whatever you were doing so i think that that's the important message here like are they going to collect i got a hundred bucks says no way harley is going to appeal it and they're going to kick the can down the road forever because a quarter billion dollars is a lot of money for everybody even harley davidson so they have no choice but to kick that down the road maybe they settle it maybe they write a check for you know some lesser amount but they can stall this thing out for years. Uh, it's a tragic, you know, story. Uh, feel certainly feel bad for the guy and the loss of his spouse. Um, but they did go the distance and brought that thing to trial, and a 240 billion or million dollar verdict does send a message. I mean, that's a big one. So congratulations to them. And hopefully, like I say, hopefully it gets these companies to change their behavior and do things better. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And while you're down there, please like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.